Day to come back on our nectar sector. So we've come today with a bit of a new theory. Twiggy's going to try on his Deus, um, what's it called, Basic One program, and um, to see if he can if he can identify any coins. And what we're going to do is we're going to dig every single signal because we have been testing stuff in the garden, and they've not been coming up. What we've expected sometimes been coming up as iron. So we've decided to dig up the iron as well today, so we can get a load of silver. This is my first clump, and it's sounding very very hopeful. So, I'll, oh, I'll come back. Yep, and I was right. There it is. Very greeny colour. Oh, I love it when you get a bit of a round. First dig of the day round, and it is... I can just about see on the bottom there that it says um, 1918. So that's a George V. First different kind of the day, George V. There you go. People go on about the eight ring pulls and stuff like that. You know what I hate most? These moo tubes. They give us such a good signal and you dig them up and you know it's a moo tube, but you still got to do it. And it is. Them are my worst things, them moo tubes. I can't stand them at all. Look at that, what you've got. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? It looks like it opens, but... I won't open it. It looks very, very fragile. It is fragile. I don't know what that is in the middle, what it's supposed to be. I wonder what it could be. Waffer thing. I've just found a nail. Mm. I found a nail, but ten cow tubes. A um, couple of buttons and some George Fifth kind, actually. So is that one of them digit dodgy signals you wouldn't have dug if, before? Yeah, showing iron. Showing iron, and it was a Vicky Bunhead penny. So it must have been on its side or something, eh? Like what it was doing edge. like it was doing in the garden. Must have been like that. Yeah. Not bad, eighteen sixty one. You see, so when, when Twiggy was in the garden, what he did, he put a load of coins in, but he put them on the edge and stuck them in the grass. And we went over them with our detectors and they were coming up like iron. So we thought, well, we come out here, if there's anything that we've thought iron before, we won't dig. We thought we'll dig it this time because you want to remember that. If it's, if it's right on its edge, the coin, it seems to, it doesn't come up properly. It seems to uh, go off onto an iron tone. It does it on my garret and it does it on Twiggy's dais as well. So there's, there's the first um, thing. He wouldn't have dug that usually, would you? No. And he dug it and it was a Vicky Penny. That's another moo tube. Carlsberg lid. Twiggy's just found this now. Now, it looks at first, we thought it was a bit of a coin because it's got an edge on it, if you can see. And it looks a bit George III, but it's got two holes in it. I don't know what that could be. Do you think that could be, Twiggy? Have you got any idea? Did you, no. did you, did you think it was half a coin? Because I would have yeah. thought some with that edge. Yeah. How strange. Unless it was a coin and somebody's made something out of it. It's been a strange old day today, hasn't it? Yeah. The old day, isn't it? It's perfect weather for detecting. It's like no wind and it's a nice warm day. But we're in the same field where we pull out coins for fun. And today we're just pulling up cow tubes. I mean, how does that work? Cow's done 25 acres of coins. I think it's just one of them days. And I definitely think that, you know, luck has to be with you sometimes and I don't think we've got luck with us today but I'm still hoping I'm going to get some at silver well I've been using my new spade today what Twiggy got for me um, I, I can't remember the name of it but I know he, he spent off to it from Germany to get it for me and then he chiselled it down and I've got to say it's wonderful I like that stainless steel one I tried that but I couldn't get any depth of digging with it where this one it's a nice long handle I can just push it in and it just brings out the clods in a nice square neat instead of like the usual holes that I have. I'll just show it you now. Well there it is, you see, it's very muddy, it's got like a bend at the side and it's quite long. I can't name it, I think it's called Twiggy! Oh, I don't know where he's gone. I can't remember the name of it. I'll, uh, I'll put it on in a minute, I'll put the writing on when I get home. Yeah, but it's a top spade that, so thanks very much Twiggy, I really like it. I've noticed is um, my garret doesn't seem to work very well on very very wet ground now I don't know if this is you as well if the ground's sort of damp I can pinpoint it exact into a little square but if the water's a bit waterlogged and a bit boggy 
I'm doing about three or four holes and I still can't find it. So I think the water must do something to me, Garrett. I'm not quite sure because Twiggy's not having the same problem. Um, so that might be you. Just be aware of that, that if you've got a Garrett 350, that um, if it's... I'm getting bit by flies. If it's um, not picking up your, your po pointer properly, it might be because it's waterlogged. So I'm staying away from waterlogged area because all that's happening is I'm getting full of mud. My fingers are full of mud. My hands weigh about eight pounds and I'm just filthy. See how muddy this is. I've dug me all up. There's even water, the water table at the bottom. And it's in here, look. look it's just like mud when you try and find anything. It's just really hard work, this. Really hard in mud. Really, really hard. Decided to call it a day we've give up or we've got moo tubes and that. Well, we've had a couple of coins, haven't we? I'm still happy with a couple of coins. Anyway, we're off out to Yorkshire tomorrow, so we're a bit looking a bit optimistic. But that just goes to show you, you see, even if you come out every week, you have them days when you don't find out. And that's exactly what's happened to us today. But I definitely do believe it is something to do with the ground and its dampness. Because we've been in this field, we've pulled up coins, and yet we've come today when it's wet through, can't find anything. So work it out for yourself. Dig it. So until next time, dig it, dig it, dig it.